save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic, beautiful day. Just like this guy right here. Right guy? Who's there? Who's disturbing my bath? Hmm, a Hylian tourist, eh? How's the water? Lukewarm. I'd like to find some really hot water to relax in, but those fallen rocks make it way too dangerous. It's rare to see a tourist like you equipped to stand up to this heat. By the way, Rudania settled down, so feel free to take your time soaking in the hot springs. You just said they're lukewarm springs. Look at that little Goron boy. He's literally almost drowning. Gun gun but drop thing. Good book it get good get that. I bid treasure. Between here and Bridge of Elden? Wait, what? He just gave me a quest! <laughs> Anyways, guys. Uh, the reason we are in the Goron area is because I want to go sell some gems. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot in this episode. This is episode 60, so this is going to be a one-hour special. Yay! And, um, yeah, I have 12 diamonds, 12 topaz, 14 ruby. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go try to sell some gems to the Gerudo lady. And I believe Goron City should be right over this mountain. And then after that, guys, we're gonna go try to do Divine Beast Vomito. And we'll probably do a bunch of stuff along the way as well. Is this Goron City? Oh, no, Goron City up here. Okay, hard right. Just need a little boost. Alright. I also want to see like if we can repair the boulder breaker. Let's talk to him. The boulder breaker. If you ever lose the boulder breaker, just go talk to Rohan, the blacksmith. Okay. Go get some rest, dude. Alright, that looks like Rohan the blacksmith right there. Rohan! Hmm, so you're the one who to inherit the boulder breaker, eh? I wonder if a pipsqueak like you could handle Daruk's sword. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Looks like you don't have the boulder breaker. If you want a new one, I'm gonna need a cobble crusher, five piece of flint, and a diamond. Actually, guys, isn't there a cobble crusher, like, right over here? There's almost always one just chilling over here. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna take the cobble crusher. I'm gonna have to get rid of something, guys. I'm gonna have to get rid of something, and that something is you. Alright, we got the cobble crusher and the flint and the diamond. Uh, but first let's let's sell. Savak. Topaz? 2,000 rupees. Easy. Uh. 10 rupees? 2,300 rupees. Hey! First time we've passed 10,000 rupees, guys. Do I have 10 more? No, I don't. Mm. Oh, she wants rupees again. Dang it. Now I gotta wait. It's kind of random. Like, after you sell to her, she'll change it up, but she didn't. I got 29 sapphires and 12 diamonds. That's alright, we'll get some more. Alright, let's go talk to Rohan. Oh, he's got a quest too. This is the house of the distinguished Goron artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Who's Rohan? He's a godly blacksmith. 
In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as part of my training, but I can't get to the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake. Mm. If only someone would go in my place. All right, all right, I'll beat the Igneo Talus. Let me get the Boulder Breaker first. Make me Daruk Sword. I need it to fight this Igneo Talus. It lasts a long time, too. You guys gotta admit, I used that thing for like five episodes. Oh, yeah, we got the Boulder Breaker back, boys. Well worth the price. Uh, let's see. Where? Let's do the uh, Igno Talus really quick. I wanna help this guy out. Let's see. Okay, it's just right up here. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's head to it. We'll do this quest, just to help this guy out, and then we'll go start doing the uh, Divine Beast Vomido stuff. I'm pretty sure we could just fly to the Igneotalus over here. Not to mention, he's going to give me a lot of gems. Maybe I can get enough to sell some more rubies. Uh, no, I need six more. Probably won't be enough to do that. We'll see. There's always a thing down here. Oh, he's not here today. Okay. Alright, let's see. I believe it is that way somewhere, so let's just hop to it. Oh, I hit the lava. Wait a minute, that's a golden lizard boy. Oh no, it's just a flaming one. Just a flaming lizard. Still, he can drop gems. Let's go see what he had. Please don't tell me his stuff just dropped in the lava. Oh my gosh. Alright, well. Alright, Igneo Talus is somewhere this way. That's how we get across giant beds of lava, boys. I it should be over here. Cookie cannot help me because Cookie is useless. Ooh, there's some ore. Let's get the ore. That looks like a little dude, yep. Hello, little dude. I must take your amber, thank you. We are going to mess this Igneo Talus up so bad with this boulder breaker. Alright, there he is. That's him for sure. He won't mind if we take some more. What? Oh, luminous. Luminous stones are gonna make me rich. Hey, big boy. Oh! Good thing I got this heat protection. Boulder breaker. Look at that damage. Bye bye. Uh, hardly any rubies. Mostly opals, flint. Alright, one ruby. And then let's break. Look at all this ore! Oh my goodness! Five more luminous stones here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Make me rich. Make me rich. I think the last fairy fountain that we have to unlock is 10,000 rubies, though, so... I mean, 10... Yeah, 10,000 rupees. So... Alright. Wait, did I get them all? Alrighty, I'm just checking out these emu-looking dudes. Okay, that was a nice arrow. Alright, 
I do need electric key swing if I ever find any. The frozen bird thigh that was on fire. Interesting. Let's see if I can just get back. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I accidentally blew up the the round bomb. Sometimes when I switch to the orange bomb, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when I switch to the square bomb, I accidentally switch back to the circle bomb, and I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I do. All right, let's start at this quest real quick. Unfortunately, I can't make any more money off the gem lady. We're gonna have to come back another day. Not a problem. The Igneo Talus is dead. You can prove yourself to your master now. Hmm. What? You say you beat the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake? Hmm, I have an idea. How about you sell me the achievement for a cool 100 rupees? <laughs> he wants me to sell him the achievement of killing the Igneo Talus. Sure, dude. Ooh. Now, you beat the Igneo Talus. See? That works so well. We're a good team, bro. We're a very good team. Alright, we got the Boulder Breaker. We helped that dude out. Now, guys, we're gonna head over to the Hebra region. All the way to the Rito Village. And we're gonna continue our main quest for the first time in uh, 10 episodes since we did... Uh, what's his name? Vavrudanya? Now we're doing Vamedo. The giant bird, divine beast. And Ravali is the champion, and he's a very stuck up, snooty, know it all, self centered champion. So, but he does give us probably the most useful ability. And I'm not gonna tell you what that is if you don't know what it is. So, let's dress as the Ritos do, as it were. And, um, let's see. Divine Beast, Vamado. So, let's see what, what we're doing here. Teba's wife, Saki, may know where he is. Ask her. Okay, so. We need to talk to the wife. Man, we have not been to Rito Village in a long time. Actually, can I buy arrows? Arrows, arrows. Anybody? Where's the shop? That's the inn. Is there no general store in this stupid town? I don't want to... Actually, I do need to stay at your inn. I have, like, no health. Let's do the Rito down bed. Ah, we got a big day ahead of me. I'm going to save your entire species, so give me the best bed you got. Can you guys believe it? I'm actually drinking coffee today instead of tea. I went to bed kind of late last night, play, stayed up late playing Rocket League, and, um, oh, okay, Blood Moon. The Blood Moon rises once again. Blood Moon rises once again. Oh no, whatever shall we do? I'm just going to kill all these guys again and take all their money. But yeah, I was super tired this morning, so I need to kick it up a notch, and I went with coffee this time. Okay, three hearts and a full stamina wheel. Wow, that's that's really good. All right, let's find uh, the shop. I want to buy arrows. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the shop. Okay, this is the cooking shop. Oh, there we go. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> buy all the arrows. Thank you. I don't want anything else, really. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thank you, Daruk. We'll, we'll probably need you in a minute. Uh, now, we already got the Rito clothes. All right, we just need to find his wife. Wait a minute. It says she's, like, right here. Oh, she's above me, probably. Let's keep going up. She way up here. Didn't even realize I was using the extra stamina there. Okay, here she is. Ooh, she's very pink. Where did he go? He went to the flight range. Okay. Yes. I will find him. He will, he will help me. Ravali's Landing. It's a memorial. 
for the Rito champion. Oh boy. We got a memory, guys. I'm trying to save the world, but Link wants to daydream. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Wow. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Don't tempt oh, me. Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! <laughs> no. <laughs> Good luck when Ganon shows up and kills you. Oh, sorry. Spoiler. Descendant! Descendant! Are you alright? My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. Nah. It's alright. I was just remembering a really rude person. Alright, so... Looks like we have to go this way. And there's a shrine right over there, so that works out pretty well. That was a terrible... That Literally, I went backwards. Okay. 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 That was bad. You know what? Let's just go to this this little. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just do it right here, okay? Okay, okay, okay. There it is. Oh my goodness, that was a good jump. So good, it made the game lag. Should we do this uh, shrine, guys? Might as well. It's like literally right there. Some silver boys there too. Kind of feel like killing them. All right, Wolf Link. Uh, let's see. You ready for some combat, Cookie? Before we do this shrine, let's let's settle this. Oh, hi. Let's go! Ooh, a topaz. I do like this spear, it's actually pretty fun. It has so much durability, too. Okay, now it's badly damaged. And I'll take your club. Ooh, a sapphire. Very nice. Okay, okay, where were we? Dang, Wolf Link, that was actually... That was actually a really good move. Alright, good job, Cookie. You did really good. Well, look at this shrine, guys. Just covered in ice and snow. I like how they did that. 
They didn't have to do that, you know? Most of all the shrines look exactly the same, but because this one's in the snowy region, they actually made it snowy covered. I like that. Alright. Let's see what we got. Hmm. 11,000 rupees. Imagine how much we'll have, like, once I can actually sell all my other gems. Probably over 20k. Path of Hidden Wind. All right. <laughs> Pathetic. Please not a weapon. Please not a weapon. Okay. I have so many good weapons I really don't want any more. Seems pretty easy so far. Ooh, can I get that chest from here? I don't know, guys. That looks pretty close. Nah, nope. Can't do that. Too far away. Let's see if we can find the entrance in this pillar thing. There we go. All right, from here I can definitely get the chest. Oh my gosh, I almost did that too early. I mean, that was calculated. Royal Bow 38 with quick shot. Probably an upgrade. Yeah. This one's got durability plus though. But in the end, I'd rather have more damage. Especially considering that bows seem to last forever anyways and I have so many good bows. Alright, I guess that was it. Pretty easy shrine. Not even not even a do 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 How many how many spirit orbs I got? Five? Ooh, I got seven. Only one more. And I can actually get two uh two stamina vessels. I should have got a stamina vessel while I was in the Rito village. I didn't realize. That's alright. I need one more shrine to get the two. All right, we'll look for another shrine hopefully in this in this episode. We should be right next to the flight range though, so let's go talk to uh, Tiba, Teba. Oh, look at that Arctic fox, guys! Oh, so cool. It's a sign of good luck, guys. It's a sign of good luck. The flight range. Ooh, arrows. Swallow bow, only nine damage. Pfft. Oh, another cutscene. Yeah. Teba. Rito warrior. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Yeah, you look so busy sitting on your butt doing nothing. Staring into the snow. So what's with it with Rito men and just not staying like with their kids and wives? Did you, did you need something? I'm busy here. Hmm. Help me with what? Vomido. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast, Vomido. I'm not buying it. What's your name? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense. Yes. 
Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Wow. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. Hmm. Once Divine Beast, Vamado falls from the sky. If I have to kill Bado, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Oh my gosh, you're just like Cass. You know your wife and kids are just like waiting for you, right? Are you serious? <laughs> ha. Well, far be it from me to talk to you off the ledge, but it's, as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Vamado is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can, we can set foot in Mado. Actually. <laughs> so you're not only wingless, you're brainless too. Why are you so rude, Teba? I'm trying to help you. Stop being rude. Let me fill you in. The only people able to have it are five champions of old. Unfortunately for us, the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Hmm. Let's focus on bringing down Mado one step at a time. If we can approach Mado recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. I'm going to need you to test your skills. Okay, hmm. updrafts and archery. Five targets in three minutes? Oh, please. Hmm. How about five targets in 30 seconds? That's more of a, you know, challenge for the champion. Maybe for you, Rito, you need three minutes. Hmm, not bad. Keep it up. That's it. One more. One more. So close to a perfect run. Perfect. Okay, well, he said it was perfect. Mm. You're a skilled archer. <laughs> if it was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I could tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them. Mm. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help bring my dough, it's now or never. Hmm. Falcon bow with quick shot. I, I mean, I appreciate the gift, but it's really... Okay, you know what here. Um, I will give you this Lionel bow. It's a very rare bow. You have to kill a really strong guy. Yeah, don't, don't even worry about it. I'll take your uh, cute... Uh, falcon bow here. You can have the, the, the lino bow, okay? Hmm. Okay, it's time to go. I need bomb arrows. Ooh, 20 bomb arrows? You've just been sitting on those? You almost blew us up. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Hmm. I got warm clothes. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Mado? To rescue Zelda? To save Rito Village? I can't just watch. Just because... It's my job. I'm not doing it for any other reason other than I'm the hero of time. This is my job. I do this kind of stuff. Fair enough. Right. Uh, get on. Here we go, boys. Time to take on the Divine Beast, Vamedo. Oh, boy. <laughs> what did we get ourselves into? <laughs> hmm. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's Divine Beast, Bob Mado. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. Wait, I'm on you. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up into the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by my nose barrier, of course. Shoot the cannons. Gotcha, let's go. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. Here Back go. to the flight range. Watch out. That's it. Woo! I 
got one. Watch out. He actually is doing kind of a good job of drawing the fire. Dude, don't go by me. Be careful. Wasting my precious bomb arrows. That's the way. Go look around. I'm literally higher than Death Mountain. So epic. Out of the way. Where did this massive updraft come from, though? This this music reminds me of Star Wars. I don't know why. One more, one more, let's go. Takes a while to get over there. We're in hot. Got it. We did it. He does not like that. I think we just made the Divine Beast well very done, angry. Mike. That thing is history. Well, I mean, not really. The barrier is history. How do I let go of the glider, then whip out my bow and shoot, and then grab the glider again? That's pretty crazy. Oh, he took one, man. He took a shot right in the leg. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think, I think I need to get back to the flight range. No, 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 no. Go back to Rito Village, not the flight range. Go back to your wife and children. They will heal your leg. There's nobody to heal you at the flight range. Come on. It's all you. Yes, that much I knew. At least you're friendly, kind of. Rivali's just annoying. Alright guys, here we go, our second Divine Beast. Let's do it. Oh man, are you guys as excited as me? <laughs> this is going to be fun. We are going to absolutely crush this thing. I also have the Master Sword, which whenever you have the Master Sword before doing a Divine Beast, it has fully powered up damage, so it's just going to be insanely OP. Travel gate registered. Now we can warp here. Not that I'm going to leave. We'll, well, we'll do this in one shot. I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I don't know, you said I couldn't make it to the Divine Beast anyways, so what do you think? Remember that? Here I am, boy. I came for our 1v1, one, one, one one, but, but you're already dead. Feels bad. Hmm. Let's grab this chest real quick. Or not. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh. Hello. Uh, let's use our Master Sword. There's a lot of chests in here. 
Ancient shaft. Uh, let's go back up. Come on, like, come on. Oh my gosh. I remember that same exact thing happening to Zumbor now that I'm thinking about it. He did the same thing. He tried, He flew up there and then Link would not grab it. You gotta do it like this. Backflip it. There we go. Now he'll grab it for sure. Yes. Ancient core, worth, worth. I just wanna make sure we get all these chests. Uh, we'll get that one after a second. I wanna get this. Oh, hi. Hello, uh, Master Sword. Okay. Like I said, so insanely easy when you have the Master Sword before doing the Divine Beast. Distilling map of Divine Beast. This is so cool. We're like in the in the head of the Divine Beast. Those are his eyes. These big circle windows. We should be able to look outside and see, like, see us flying around. I'll check after we get the map. Ooh, it looks cool. So, five terminals. We have to get all five terminals to fight the boss. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Yes. Yeah, check it out. We're literally flying around. Isn't that so cool? Alright, um... So yeah, now we have the map. It looks like there's two on the... Right and three on the left. I want to grab this chest before we forget. Nice. Five more bomb arrows? I will take it. Alright, let's uh, let's see what's over here. Ow, ow, ow. Doesn't look like there's anything that way. about over here? Man, there is a lot of areas we can explore, actually. Okay, this... This, I think, we, we can get to if we... Tilt it up. Let's try tilting it up. Oh, man, look at this. And then we're gonna... Woo! Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> it's a leap of faith, but we got it. First terminal. There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I'll tilt it back down so we can fly back. Link's legs are tremoring. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The music is pretty awesome. Alright. Let's take the, uh... Let's just center it out. Let's take the wind shaft up. So epic, this view right here. This is gonna be where we fight the boss. I don't think we need to come in here yet. Let's just go back down. Not that far down. Okay. Um. Let's go this way. Close enough, I think. Oh, it's not. Dang it. That's so annoying. Mm. 
actually, I think there's one right there. Yep, let's grab this one real quick. Actually, should we take the little gondola? Let's take the gondola thing. I could just fly there, but this is more fun. <laughs> Here we go. terminal over here, right? Yes! Second terminal down, let's go. We're speed running this. There are three terminals remaining. Ooh, open the door for me, thank you, thank you. Please, please no. None of that. Bye bye. Ooh, he dropped a chest. Dang, nice. Ten ice arrows. Come here. Okay, what are we doing here? Alright, I think we gotta tilt this baby back. Then, uh, tilt it back up. And this time we're going to magnesis this bad boy so that it doesn't move. Otherwise, the wind will stop spinning that thing and then the gate will close. We want the gate to stay open. Boom! Easy! Three terminals down. There two to go. Two terminals remaining. You're almost there. Why do you sound surprised? Of course I'm almost there. I see a chest up there too, guys. Ooh. How do we get up there? How indeed. <laughs> Not like that, that's how. Not like that. Okay, it was an experiment. Sometimes you gotta try new things. Um, let's see. So, the last two terminals are on the other side. However, I do... I do want to get that treasure chest, so we'll get it eventually. Oh. Okay, you know what guys? Those things in the middle are stupid. You don't even need to use them. You don't even need to use those things in the middle whatsoever. Oh my gosh. There we go. No! Gosh dang it, Link! I even pushed jump so that that wouldn't happen, but the jump didn't work. I guess those things in the middle do make it easier, but still, you don't have to use them. You can just legit do this. Um, I do want that chest over there. Kind of want to go get that chest real quick. You know what I'm saying? What? Okay. Link almost just jumped completely back. 
Wow, 48 damage royal bow. Now that is a bow I will take. Um. Yeah, this falcon bow is so cool, Teba. But I had to use it up fighting the the the, the thing in the in the divine beast. So yeah. Thank you for that bow, though. It's really nice. All right, now we're gonna fly back. At least that's the plan. Oh yeah, easy. Look at that. You like fly upwards. All right. I really do wish there was harder enemies in the Divine Beast, because really it's pretty easy. Like, pretty pathetically easy. Another chest up there. Oh look! There's a, uh... Terminal right there. Easy! One more terminal, guys. One more. Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? I do want that chest. We're gonna get every chest in the Divine Beast because why not? Wow! Mmm! 71 damage. We are going to absolutely obliterate some Lionels after this. 71 damage. My gosh. We're dropping the Dragon Bone Club. For the insanely strong Epic Claymore. Okay. So... Alright, I see. Um, let's put the ball... Let's put the bomb in here. Actually, no, let's... Let's roll that back up. And let's put another one in there. What? What? Did you guys see that? The bomb totally hit the door. Didn't even do it. Let's try again. Okay. Should, it should have worked the first time, though. I mean, I'm just saying. You would think. I don't think I need this on anymore. Ugh. All right, that looks like a magnetic ball, so let's just do this. I'm pretty sure we can magnesis through the wall. Easy. Over here, over here. About right there. E Z. That's actually a really clever uh, design because you basically have to solve this room without actually going into the room. That's actually probably one of the, of the most clever designed terminals in this in this whole thing. All right, that was it, guys. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, flap to it. Rivali, no offense, but I do not need your help whatsoever. I know you like to think that you're so important, but you're really not. Alright, let's do it, guys. The final boss of Divine Beast, Vomido, awaits. And I cannot wait to mess him up with the Master Sword. Here we go, boys. Wish me luck.
Come on out and play. You're gonna die for killing my friend Rivali. Even though I hated him. He was still my friend. And you had no right to kill him. Oh, aren't you cute? I'm gonna mess you up so bad. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link. That thing looks amazing. Okay, let's use our big boy guns. I'm gonna use Savage Lionel Bow 41 times three. His aim is dead on. Watch yourself. Oh, his aim is dead on. He should watch my aim. Oh, bad spot. Bad spot for you to pick, boy. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, let's kick it up a notch and use shock arrows. Oh, that's your spot? Poor choice. Oh, you're not even phased in yet. Really? That's where you wanna that's where you wanna go, huh? Okay. Pathetic. That little darkness ceiling blade on my back is actually insane. Okay, his little thingies on his back were drones. Q. safe up there. I want to kill you with the Master Sword, but since you're playing, hard to get. Get wrecked. Didn't even get touched. Didn't even get touched. Pathetic. This is master mode? This is a divine beast boss? A master mode? Didn't even get touched? Destroyed him in like one minute flat? Pathetic. Be gone. We did it. We did Divine Beast Vomido. You know what that means, guys? Another champion power about to be given to us. And a heart container. Oh! Hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. Oh my gosh. It looks so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wait, two falling stars just fell. Did you guys see that? Amazing. I don't know if taking a picture is gonna do anything, but I just wanted to. That's probably a full row of hearts. We should just leave. Don't activate the main terminal. Don't free Rivali. Just defeat the boss to show him that you could do it, and then leave. <laughs> and then, but, but, uh, just kidding. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll free you. It's fine. You have to admit that I fly better than you. Then I'll free you. <laughs> there we go. It's ours now. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Hey, look at you! You look different! <laughs> you look... <laughs> dead! How, how's, uh, how's it... Well done. How's it going being I dead? I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. Me. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. 
I mean, I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. More than you could do. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. I'll take it. Yes. This is such a good ability. Thank you for that. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. I probably could do it without your help, judging from how bad I just pwned oh, the other yeah, Ganon boss. Go. Your job is far from finished, you know. I got the Master Sword, that's all I need. Savage Lionel Bow, you know how it is. We just be the destroying. Princess has been waiting an awful long time. The princess has been waiting. Well, it's not like I set the timer to a hundred years. She did. I was good to go in like you know a couple days. I think she accidentally put a hundred years instead of one year. I don't know, man. Epic cutscene. Let's go. No way that rock supports the weight. No way. It would just absolutely crush the weight. Okay. It looks cool, I admit. But that thing, that, that rock would have broken so fast. Fire the laser cannon! You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Sure that. First, like, oddest thing you've ever said in your life, other than that I'm a worthy warrior. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Just finish it right there. Don't don't continue. Yes, I was wrong about don't don't how lucky he would be. You just can't I stop being rude. Out, Link, for everyone's sake. You should have just left it, but you just had to take it there. That looks so cool though. We did it, guys. We did it. Let's head back to Rito Village. Okay, here we are. Maybe we'll get a reward? I don't know. Rivali's Gale! Amazing! That will be so useful. Hey look, Teba actually did come back to Rito Village after all. Smart boy. Huh? You, I really owe you for what you did. Huh. It's fine. Thanks to my wife, I've recovered to the point. I told you he'd go back to his wife, he's not like Cass. We won't go there though. Actually, my wife told me something about you. She says you're a descendant. Hmm. I have more than just the blood of a champion. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me, you're the Hylian champion? <laughs> ha, good one, pal. Everyone knows that all the champions were wiped out. Okay, how come nobody believes me? Alright, I'm here to claim my right after defeating the Divine Beast. And I'm going to take your spot as the ruler of the Rito since you did not do anything useful. Ooh. 
You've done it! You survived at that! You conquered Divine Beast Vomito! To think the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village! It simply looks divine! If the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the Calamity. For now, the Divine Beast Vomido will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. Oh yes, of course, I must reward you! Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You will get more use out of it than I. Champion Descendant, I have only just realized. That sword you have in your possession, could it be the sword that seals the darkness? Clever old owl. The Hylian Champion, who fought alongside Master Ravali 100 years ago, could that be you? You're the only one in this village who actually believes that I am the Hylian Champion. Great Eagle Bow. A bow without equal, wielded by the Rito champion, Rivali. It said Rivali could loose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat. And yet, you would think somebody supreme in aerial combat would have had no problem taking, bound, taking down Wind Blight Ganon. I mean, all he does is float around and shoot really slow. <sighs> Another bow, okay. Um, you know what, you can have this one. You can take the royal bow as a gift from uh, the Hylians to the uh, Rito people. And I will take this great eagle bow. Kind leader. Ooh, it does look pretty cool, I admit. Looks alright. Dang. What an episode, guys. What a series. What a game. It almost brings tears to my eyes to think of how beautiful this game is, how awesome the story is. Okay, that electricity arrow is like getting on my nerves. It, it's been a really incredible journey. Um, even though we've done two out of the four Divide Beasts, I wouldn't even say that we're halfway done. There's still so much to do and see. Wow. That backfired. So anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.